are gonna talk about subfinder tool the fast passive subdomain enumeration tool it's a tool that discovers valid subdomains for website using passive online sources that means you will not interact directly with the target website so let's go to install it actually here we have three ways to install it from source which is here we have recommended and second way which is from binary and third way from github I'm gonna use the first one and I will see what will happen with me let's do copy I am here sudo okay uh, not found again not found if I do go install and this one also I cannot install it okay so the first way didn't work with me I'm gonna try the third one and let's see okay okay we have go build and here I have to move subfinder file to user local bin okay and subfinder should work yeah it worked with me the third one worked with me the third way so how subfinder works subfinder will use certain services to collect the subdomains of the target and from these services some tools like Fiat Miner, sublister alien vault but there are some services that need api keys like github virus total shodan etc i will leave on the screen the api keys which are free of cost by the way to list all of services that used by subfinder we can use the option a dash ls which it will be subfinder dash ls and here we have all the services that used by subfinder actually i'm gonna try to take free api keys from binary edge and insert it on subfinder first i have to go to uh, app dash binary edge dot eo here we have login page but i have to sign up because i don't have account and first name let's name it sudo zane company sudo zen and email sudo zen dash proton mail dot com and our password uh, again and here we do captcha okay okay I have to verify my account so I verified my account and now I'm gonna log in and let's see what we have here API documentation no not this one uh, API access create token I have to create one citizen and yeah I have this API token for me so I'm gonna insert it inside subfinder
Okay guys, so to use our token on subfinder, I had to navigate to config file and after that to subfinder, but I thought it will be on my user directory. So because I installed the tool using root account, using sudo uh, su, I have to go to my root directory, which is, uh, I'm here, okay, so I have to go to root, then after that, to config file and after that to subfinder and this file this is our config file so I'm gonna edit my provider config yaml and let's see yeah here we can add our keys and I can go here and oh shit I think it copied it. You fuck. I didn't copy it. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I think I'm gonna make another one. Sudo zen one. Create token. Okay, I'm gonna copy it. And, uh,. Binary edge, it's here, yeah. So let's see how can I insert it. Uh, here we have API setup. They didn't mention, okay, they can be added by separating them via a colon. And here we have example, okay. So I will remove this, one, two, then something like that. So I will add, I added already two spaces and one dash and one space. And after that, our key. So I'm going to save it and leave it. So the more API keys inserted on config file, the more results you will get. Actually, it will take more time, but in the other hand, more results. After installing the subfinder, let's run the tool and the most important option in this tool. Here, okay, again. We will use dash D, so it will be subfinder dash D, and uh, we used dash D to define our target. And our target will be facebook.com. And let's see what will happen. So here we have all the subdomains for facebook.com. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna remake it because I can't see all the subdomains. I'm gonna remake this process but using dash o and facebook.txt. Dash o used to save our output and the file name will be facebook.txt so let's see our file which is facebook.txt and here we have all the subdomains that we discovered for facebook.com it's like 12,000 subdomains Okay. Let's try this one. Okay, okay, okay. Potential security issue. Okay, I cannot enter. I. Like with the website. What will happen if I use Chrome? Okay, I cannot reach it for some reasons, I don't know why, but... Hmm... But all of them like that, or... Maybe it's not reachable by normal people, I think it's like private. But the idea is how Subfinder found them. 
maybe it's false positive but mm, because I didn't check it I don't know okay let's go to another point we have another option to use all sources and search engines to find subdomains so we will use subfinder dash all and after that dash d to define our domain so our target will be yahoo.com and no I'm gonna save the results output uh, yahoo.txt and let's see okay so here we have uh, our results when we scanned for yahoo.txt let's see I'm gonna use mm, nano yahoo.com and here we have the subdomains that used for yahoo uh, okay next point we have is if you want only the results without information like how many seconds how does it take how many subdomains we have we can use subfinder dash d our target which is bing.com and the subdomain and the option dash silent and i'm gonna save the output into file called bing.txt and yeah here we have the subdomains but i don't know how many subdomains we have so i'm gonna go to nano bing.txt Actually why I like this tool because it's able to fetch more than 50,000 subdomains in a short amount of time. Next option we have is, let's see, again, subfinder and I'm gonna dash D, our target will be uh, nasa.com and let's use dash V which used to see the verbose output of the sources that means it will give us more information about the target and our output will be nasa.txt and let's see and here we have all the subdomains used by nasa when we use dash v it will give us more information like that from which source it found the subdomain i think that's all for today thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video